Good morning, grasshoppers. Have some diligent daily training. It is a Monday morning. Interesting. Well, that's interesting. Deva six with the tricky transposition into a good night hour for black. Now, interestingly enough, this should lose a pawn. If I had knight c6 in, they would have knight takes c6, b takes c6, knight takes e4, and after bishop g5, knight takes d6 check, which would be very annoying. Therefore, we continue on our merry way. Capturing, capturing, capturing. A plan I learned from Bobby Fischer from one of his tournaments in 1955, I believe. We will be playing on the queen side with the open file. Gaining time on the bishop. Not sure where he thinks he's going. But he is more than welcome. Well, maybe did I get into a spot of trouble here? I am after some simplification. My d5 pawn could be in a spot. What? Oh no. See how he chooses to go about this. And now for something completely different. He got his pawn back. It's kind of a bummer. Or did he? I guess we'll find out. Because we insist on taking the open file. I'm going to have to see what I did. Screw the pooch on this one. Desperados? Let's find out. Well, isn't that fascinating? Does he have that good of an endgame? We're about to find out. Ah! I don't really want... Simplify this position into a rook and pawn ending that I can't win. But it looks as though it is so.
No draw. You're a pawn up. Five. There can be a draw at every single moment, as it turns out. Fine. I will try to extract blood from this stone for just a moment longer. I cannot win with the rook spawn. So therefore, I may have fumbled the ball a little bit. Now we just have to activate our rook a different way. Can't let him cut my king off. Well, isn't that fascinating? We have a weakness, ladies and gentlemen. We have not weaknesses that are too far apart, unfortunately. Check. We do have a weakness. Now for one more weakness. There we go, we gained some space. Victory. No one ever won a game by agreeing to a draw. Why do I make these rated? Because the rated games are routinely checked for inappropriate behavior. The unrated games, however, as proven by Levy in his in his streams, 
The unrated games are not checked routinely for assistance. But rated games on Lee Chess, every single one of them in tournament play, are checked. You don't have to report computer assistance on Lee Chess, it just happens. But if you play an unrated game, honestly, I would use my book. <laughs> it would be the same as a correspondence game or a casual game in the park. Why not have uh, kibitzing? Why not have some move suggestions if they're unrated games? Why not have uh, book referencing and written materials being used in casual games? So TC Birk, I hope that's good enough as an answer. It's dead in one bishop. Does that make sense, sir? I hope it does. Because I'm relatively serious about it. I believe that every game should be accountable. Every game has a certain accountability and there's no reason. It's like going to school for no diploma. What are the odds of that happening, right? What is the point? Can we loosen him up, or is my knight getting trapped? This is knight better than my bishop. If I dare give him the two bishops. Hmm. I don't necessarily see the point of preserving my bishop when his pawn structure is so loose as it is. Hmm, that is a bummer. The good news about king f7, knight f4, is that rook f8 does not pin my knight. His knight on e7 is a lovely piece. It truly, truly is. Can we lock down on him any more than we have? All right, moment of truth. Is this going to be very dangerous for us? Probably. My bishop is not faring well. Give ourselves a bit of breathing room. Just a wee bit of breathing room. I don't want his knight to have any good squares that aren't uh, going to be good for us. Now that he doesn't have e5, I mean, he can still reach e5. But I have the choice of taking his dark squared bishop at any time. We'll tag the d6 pawn. 
see how he defends it. He chooses not to defend it. That's an unusual choice. So do we have... multiple ways of enjoying his company? What in the world was that? My knight on the sixth rank was just captured. I guess it was worth a rook. Oh my gosh, I'm playing Ron Hay. What is the best way to make this felt? I like everything where it is, by the way. Why is Ron so low rated? I unfortunately have no ability to offer a draw. I wonder if it's because it's move, it's before move 30. Is it because it is before move 30? Check. I still don't have any ability to offer a draw. Oops. <laughs> I blundered. I blundered. So I really don't have the ability to offer a draw. I thought it was just for move number 30, but let's tuck our king away. For the first time in the game, I think... Or for the second time in the game, we've been castled. Hmm. Ron, if you offer a draw, I will take it. I don't have any ability to offer a draw. I really, really don't have an ability. I wanted to return the favor because Ron was crushing me the other day. I don't know what the criteria are for us to be so kind to each other, but... Nico Demonius, how are you? Are you in the chat? Not for, not playing for a million dollars, though. That's true, but the ratings don't mean anything. DC Burke, the ratings are just an average of your performance, and the average evens back out. For example, when my niece died um, six weeks ago, I lost 100 rating points on both my Blitz and my... Well, I didn't lose quite a hundred rating points on my rap on my blitz, but I definitely lost about a hundred rating points on my on my rapid on the weekends. And in general, I certainly noticed so the two nights variation. You know, I wonder. I'm going to go for this variation against the two knights. And we will grab the space advantage. I believe he could have taken my pawn for free. Wise guy.
but in general, because I allow players in from all rating categories, we do get refunds on our rating points, just like on uh, the other server. Yes. Can we overwork him? Looks like we can overwork him. Coordination. Coordination of the troops. And now... Can I really do this? I'm not so sure about this. Where are you going? Where are you going and what does it all mean? Yeah, I was a little worried about this. Just a wee bit worried about this. I don't have a good answer to this one. I only played it to gain time and to hopefully actually trap the knight. That's my, my real goal here is to trap the knight. I wanted the queen on h6 first before we continue with this particular vein. Doesn't really matter as it turns out, right? Yeah, people do have to enter somehow. It's only natural that they enter somehow. I didn't get a chance to batten down the hatches the way I wanted to. But I really wanted to batten down the hatches a different way. Check. What? Am I mated? I could well be mated, but my knights are covering. Oh no, they're not. Oh my god. ITB Veer, you have me, sir. I don't really want to see that anymore. Oh, now the Simuls are unrated. That's good enough for me. Good game, sir. I do want to look into this. Hold on there, I need to flip it. I need to see it from this side. So D4 is dubious, but why? Bishop G4, Knight F6 is what I consider to be the best move. Knight F6, E5, Knight to G4. What is that line? e5 d3 fascinating i also considered d3 without it but when i was young i actually had a player play this and then white had a tremendous lead in development there was no point in playing d3 
So why would knight f6 be any different? e5, d3. Why not just move the knight? Yeah, I just lose a lot of time. It doesn't make any sense to me, knight f6. Why is knight f6 that much better than bishop g4? The knight on e takes d4. Fair enough. My goal was to play e5 and ruin his structure. Did I have any other choices? Is knight f6 an option now? Yeah, e5 was my plan. Knight to b3, a5, counterplay. I know I'm down a pawn. So as it turns out, knight to g3, e5, white is certainly better. Go back, flip this board again. A5, was I ever doing okay? Right about here, knight to c8 was the blunder, huh? Knight f5 was a blunder. g6, knight g7. I should play king e... Uh, queen h6. Allowing queen h6 was a mistake, huh? Gave him an extra tempo when I thought I was going to get this and then this. Try to trap the knight. But rook to g1, knight on c to b6. It's also possible that queen f8 is better. Not a choice. b5, straight away. Yeah, b5 straight away. Possibly. Queen f8, there you are. I knew if I stuck in it long enough, queen f8 would be a good move. Am I unusually increased here? This is as large as the board gets at 100%. Alright, let's check on the tournament. Ron Hay may have finished. Ouch. I think Ron Hay was attempting. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Now rook to e6. Boo! Rook to e7 was the correct move. Now look at this massive box that what black has to choose from. No, rook to d5 was the right move. To shorten this made anyway. Egon, we have to work on our king and rook technique. Waiting move. Oh no, not to that side. Just rook to b7. Now we're stuck in the same exact spot. Yes, that's right. Rook to b7, and then you can walk him into the corner if you'd like. He gads. Rook and pawn endgame technique. This morning on Instagram, I posted one of my favorite FIDE cuts, which was brought to me by Ready. International Arbiter, Sophia Road. We have a couple in the classroom. All right, BM47. Let's see what we've got. Paro Khan. Good choice, sir. What is the variation that he will find... See what he does against the most testing variation. Honestly, this is the most testing variation for the knowledge of theory. Now we find out whether he's a g6, knight c6, or e6 player. Bishop f5 is not a move. Very 
There are only three choices in that position as far as I know. E6, G6, and Knight C6. I take it back. If you really want to move your bishop, Tony Miles had bishop E6 on the fifth move. Which is a very unusual move. Without the knight on F3. White can go C5 in that position and retains the option of playing bishop d3, knight on g to e2. I'm hoping that bm47, good morning, slk. The main move is c5, yes, of course it is. Thank you, ITP. Coffee time. Ron, I don't seem to have the draw option. By the way, if you've not checked out SLK, I wonder if Rogan is streaming. That is a good question if Rogan is still streaming. That is a good question if Rogan is still streaming. Just in case you didn't hear me the first time. Ah, but we do have I am Wangri. We are going to send everybody over there as fast as humanly possible immediately after the stream. And for Pegasus, who seems to be here. I had a schedule. We are threatening to hold on to that pawn. in many ways by the way uh i recommend the book for bm47 winning win with the carl Kahn by carl magnus carlson's trainer i can recommend everyman books by the way because they are now a part of the play magnus group i am going for my play magnus sponsorship uh-oh there's a small problem in this position. Dude, you have to look at my threats. So in the Karo Khan, maybe we will do an entire study stream on the Karo Khan. I noticed that the opening streams do very, very well. Check. For whatever reason, the opening streams do excruciatingly well. First things first, let's clarify the center. And with his king in the center, we're just going to get our pieces out as rapidly as we can to keep him from castling. the sky we do want to trade more stuff right do I keep him in the center this way or that This was the plan on rook to b8. Queen takes a6. Just to threaten him with knight to c6 as well. Victory. Sorry, uh, BM, BM47, if you're here. I know how hard you're working on your chest, but to lose right out of the opening like that is awkward. You do need to know the first five moves of every opening if not the first 10. Start with the first five. Ouch. This gives uh, Egon Hubert 
winning chances. Ouch. Things are falling hand over fist, left and right. I believe that he might even be able to just take the pawn because the pawns on the queen side win. Yep, that's the one. You just gotta push through G7, G5, H5. Ooh, what a slime. Good job, ITP. Egano Bear took one thing for granted and did not see the threat of bishop to e3 after bishop d2. He only pushed his pawns randomly. This will leave a mark. International tennis player Veer. You can study almost any opening through the games of great players. Egon Uber. Uh, we haven't played in some time. I wonder if I could uh, convert I am hungry over to Lee Chess because she right now has no sponsorship. And she would be over the top in no time if she had a little bit of sponsorship. It will soon be dinner time for her. So therefore, she is going to need. Do the thematic sacrifice where we dive into the white squares. Yes, more white squares to follow. Not sure what queen to b6 was all about. Chess. Yeah, yeah, I am hanging upon. It is somewhat annoying that I've I've hung upon. Let's prevent any counterplay as much as we can. off this diagonal my pawn sacrifice is only partially working
Ruh -ruh. There's a problem here, Houston. There is a very serious problem here. After the E6 pawn? Probably not. We can win material another way. What? Be gone. It was a difficult position, I have to admit. PC Burke, are you in the event? Why wouldn't these events be rated? After all, this is a different rating system than Rapid, and you and I have played in Rapid, I believe. Rapid is but one very serious time control. Sorry to hear that. All right, let's see what we can do for the YouTube channel today. Every day we've gained a new subscriber, if not three. Oops, if I can spell it correctly. <laughs> YouTube. Where are we in the in the count? 71. Can we make it to 72, everyone? Pretty please. I need 72 subscribers. If you've not yet subscribed, if you have an additional account to subscribe with. Wow, I can't believe that Ron and I remotely made it to the podium as badly as we were playing. The international tennis player Veer took this one down pretty handily. We will study these games again later and we will be back again with a uh, study stream in short order, but we are first going to promote the socials and of course I am crossing my fingers that one of you chose to jump onto the YouTube and subscribe so that we can get rid of the gobbledygook I implore you please subscribe to the YouTube channel because I have I am under the impression that when I make it to 100 subscribers I can replace that gobbledygook with Master Chess Dojo anytime now 72 subscribers, pretty please. Any of you who have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, now is your time. I can't believe I haven't opened that at all. This is the link to our official Master Chess Dojo title. We need you. When we go to 72, we get the study stream in a half an hour. Perhaps even a simul. For 72, I would definitely do a simul, but for the moment, we will do... Um, We're going to visit my friend I am Huang. Make sure I spell her name right.
and I appreciate every last one of you. Namaste. We will run the ending credits, and we will be right back. In short order, with perhaps my memorable games. I'm not entirely positive, but this streamer needs your support. Please follow her. Send her a raid message for me. We are all hungry. We are all hungry. Especially in the mornings. We are hungry too. How about that? Cheers, everyone. And have a great day. Ciao. I will see you in a bit.